Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Stellar Artifacts. My name is Eli. I have another statue review today. Um, I've had the Tweeterhead Joker Maquette Deluxe Edition, the EX version, probably since like a week after Thanksgiving is when it shipped out. So I think I've had it for maybe three weeks. Um, I got to get this unpacked because I got other stuff on the way. Um, but I've been anticipating this piece for a while. I think this represents probably one of uh, Tweeterhead's most anticipated pieces to possibly ever come out. Um, it's pretty intricate. It's a throne piece, so Joker on the throne. This is the 1.6 version. Um, I was tempted to do the quarter scale upgrade, but I decided against it because the thing is huge. So for a 1-6 scale piece, the box that this comes in is almost like a quarter scale statue. Um, but yeah, um, I like quarter scale and I'm trying to do mostly quarter scale. But this is going to be fine as, as it is as a 1-6 scale piece. But anyway, yeah, um, thanks for joining me. If you like the content, uh, please like my video and subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to do a little overview on this piece for y'all. So give me a second here. All right, guys, so this is the shipping box for the uh, Tweeterhead Joker maquette. And let me tell you something. This thing is heavy, is big. For a one-six scale piece, it's about as big as a one-quarter scale statue or larger. And anyway, yeah, this one has some heft to it, a little bit of weight. All right, and here's the art box out of the shipping box finally um, has these uh, corny corner padding um, inside the shipper for extra support it was boxed really well nice thick shipping box so hopefully everything inside is going to be safe you got the side of the box and the rear and get this out here all right, so this is a picture of uh, all the contents of the box. There's like five knives or something and a bunch of little tiny pieces. Two head portraits and then the base, which is giant. So that's why I decided not to do the quarter scale because this thing's huge. All right, so all those tiny small pieces are unboxed. I got the uh, throne piece all right here or the base. And then uh, five knives. There's a bomb that keys in on the base. It actually says J with spray paint for Joker. This is going to be his cane. You can see his little grin in gold at the top there. Two cards that you can use to put in his hand. One, one hand has a blade. The other one's meant for holding the card. This uh, teeth will go on the base. And then here we got the portraits. Got his maniacal grin. I feel like I kind of like the maniacal grin a little better than the EX portrait. So the EX portrait is right here he's got more of like a smirk going on on this one it's not bad just another option then when you unbox the body the directions say be very careful of the uh, blade that goes in his uh, his shoes there that can break very easily I might key this stuff in All right, everybody, so here it is. Everything is keyed in, and this thing is insane. Um, like I said, this thing weighs quite a bit for a 1-6 scale statue due to the base. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of polystone in that base. Let's take a look at the base first thing. Um, Gotham City Bank and Trust, so there's a bunch of bags of money. So there's... Uh, money laying all over um got a gas tank with clear resin 
and this uh, gas container is spilling out with the clear resin so it actually looks like a puddle of gas um, here you got the uh, gas mask down here for the additional card you can choose which card you want to put in his uh, between his index thumb and finger or, or thumb and index finger um, you'll have one leftover card so I just put it right here on the base here got another gas tank over here spilling out couple of knives I think I keyed those in in the right spots I'm pretty sure but there's three spots these knives key into I'm pretty sure I got those correct let me know if I screwed up there's some tiny little notches that they rest in and the other one is up here pinned to uh, Batman's cape on the upper chair I decided to use the lighter colored handle so it doesn't blend in it sticks out a little bit more because there's five knives there's two knives remaining so Tweeterhead was gracious enough to let us have a couple extra knives um, you can just put them on the back of the base or somewhere on the base if you want um, you got the chattering teeth that come loose I just set that down on the base where the uh, Polaroids are those Polaroids are not removable, they're, they're stuck to the base. Be very cautious when you take this out. It says have two people, but I count as two people. So I, uh, I got this out okay on my own. But it is large, so make sure when you handle it, it's only going to be from this crate area, because all this stuff could break loose very easily. So check out his shoes. He's got pretty detailed shoes. Great sculpt on that, the yellow socks. He's got this blade here, and that's a, a very breakable piece. I found I almost rubbed up against that piece earlier, um, but luckily I didn't snap it. But yeah, that part could break so easily. That's a nice little effect, the, the blade sticking out of his shoe there. So his, he got his cane. And that keys in with a little tiny notch right there on that uh, bag of cash. Little tiny groove that holds it in there. And check out like the antique wood or carvings on the uh, on the base there on the chair. Looks like an antique antique chair wood carving. It looks like real wood, which is awesome. Got the cool faces down there, sad face and happy face. And then you got these these little tears where uh, the stuffing or inner part is uh, kind of coming out of the, the the cushioning is like coming out of the rip parts of the leather. So many Easter eggs. Uh, you got the Joker bomb. This keys in actually. This is what this part keys in. Um, has the J on there in spray paint. Another another thing of. I think there's three total gas cans on here, and this is one of them. So great. chose not to do the other portrait on him. I mean, like, I think this is good. You know, this will probably go good with the uh, the razor blade if you decide to do the razor blade option. But I like the card and the, uh, the other. I mean, this is the EX, right? Like, so you have more options. It's always better to have more options. And it's not a bad sculpt. I just, uh, I like the maniacal grin of the Joker. So... Speaking of that, look at that portrait. It's a great portrait. Paint's good on this. No, uh, nothing bad that I, I would comment on at all. Like, like I really was not fond of the paint job on the Tweeterhead uh, Superman 2.0 version. Um, but this thing, paint's immaculate. I would say I don't see any defects. This thing is freaking awesome. 
got more antique wood effect up here the knife and the cowl or uh, the cape there and you got the cowl resting on top of Batman's cowl the crowbar this looks like another part that would easily bust off so shoot when you handle this thing you gotta be super careful because that thing would break in a heartbeat it's not it doesn't key in it's, it's up there so And this card, he kind of delicately slide between his thumb and his uh, forefinger or index finger. That's the one I chose to put in there because I think it pops a little more than the other one. But anyway, I don't have any Joker statues um, other than pure arts, Joker art mask. And uh, that art mask is really cool that pure arts put out like a year or two ago uh, but I don't have any Joker statues and this is the one that I chose I like the intricacy of it it's like a diorama this thing is a diorama so a lot of Easter eggs some of it from the killing joke you know the camera that the Joker uh, photographs Commissioner Gordon's daughter with and the Polaroids from that scene down here. This thing is just so awesome. Like uh, David Igo, um, really working in uh, Tweeterhead's favor. Such an excellent staff member to have uh, with the art direction and everything. Um, the whole team, you know, what they're doing is great. I'm I'm uh, curious what kind of things Tweederhead could do to top this or, or equal it even. So, but yeah, I think I got the the good the good Joker piece. More of those tears, and you see the texture on the chair there with the uh, little metal buttons that line it. The perimeter of the uh, upholstery the upholstery of the chair all these little tears throughout oh I think I missed a spot is that where a knife keys in I bet you that's where a knife keys in I need to key a knife in right there I think I'm pretty sure I missed one but anyway let me turn this around so you got the cape that goes all the way down to the base a little bit of styrofoam here. But yeah, this thing is awesome. And it weighs a lot. A lot, a lot. What is this, 30 pounds? I don't know. I think that's pretty heavy for a... Uh, I'm just guessing anyway. I think this, this thing's pretty heavy for a 1-6 scale statue. I can only imagine what the quarter scale is going to be like, but I just don't have space for that. I have a one-third scale XM Studios Hive Warrior Alien that's going to be coming to me, and that's the biggest piece I've ever bought. So, But yeah, anyway, I'm stoked to have this. I'm glad I could get it out of the box and do a little bit of show and tell or a little overview on this for everybody. If you're on the fence, don't be. Either grab these up while you can in one six scale, um, or if you're a if you're a size queen, you can go with the quarter scale. I like quarter scale, but as far as this throne piece, uh, it's just too big. I think it'd take up a lot of real estate. Yeah, really awesome piece. I'm happy to have this. Jeez, it's just freaking awesome. Um, I may switch these out from time to time with the, uh, the side eye and the grin and then the, uh, the razor blade. We'll see. But I kind of, I kind of like the original card and the maniacal grin best. With the upholstery on the chair and the wood. Holy crap. No wonder they only made like 600 of the EX. So it's a somewhat reasonable 
and low edition size, which I think is attractive to a collector as well. So, so yeah, it's not like freaking pumped out like their uh, their Catwoman was pumped out like crazy, but their Catwoman is freaking awesome too. It's just so many of them, but I had to get that one too. Anyway, um, that's all I got. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to have to get that other knife pinned into the other side of the uh, cape there on the chair so it's in the right spot. I came across it when I was showing you guys. Anyway, give you one little zoom out to fit everything in. It's a pretty big piece for 1.6. All right, everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in for this little review or unboxing or overview. I call it show and tell. It's just fun to show off your pieces. Um, I always like to tune in to other people's YouTube channels to see them unbox their stuff as well. But, uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. You really can't go wrong with this whatsoever. I have no complaints about this. If you guys get this or haven't unboxed it yet, be really cautious unboxing it. Make sure you're lifting underneath these wooden, where the crate is at the very bottom, because there's so many pieces that could come loose and break on this. Be careful of this little knife on the tip of his shoe. That thing will break in a heartbeat. Be careful of that. Uh, crowbar there. The crowbar that probably killed Jason Todd, right? Um... But yeah, man, this thing is freaking awesome. Um, totally stoked to have this. Uh, this will be up there in my collection as far as favorites go. Um, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, like once again, if you could like my video and uh, hit the uh, subscribe button, um, I'll have other reviews in the future for you guys to enjoy or check out. Um, so have a good night. Thanks for joining me.